When I'm setting up Excel tables, I often want a unique column to use in, say, XLOOKUP or maybe a dimension table for Power BI or Power Pivot. So this is how I set my alert up. And I'll even show you how you can use data validation to prevent duplicates in the first place. Let's go. This technique I'm going to show you requires you to have Office 365 Excel that has dynamic arrays. Dynamic arrays were added about a year ago, maybe even more than that. So you should have it now. So I'm just going to start off by just normally flagging this the way you would to highlight duplicates. So I've highlighted the data. Uh, we just go to home and then conditional formatting and we highlight duplicate values. Okay. So then if we ever do have a duplicate, if I type C in there, it flags up, great. But if this list is really long, you don't want to be scrolling up and down. You want a nice alert at the top to tell you there's a duplicate. Okay, so this is the technique. If I type equals countif, or you could use countifs, um, highlight the column, comma, and this is where the dynamic array part comes in because I can highlight the same column again and it sort of evaluates every record as it goes down. So here we can see the two and the two correspond to the C and the C. And if I change this to G and G, you see two and two appear here. So you make the most of this. So here we go. We just want to say, okay, give me the max of that entire column. So I'll just do it here. We do the max of that entire column and it's two. So there's duplicates. If there's no duplicates, the max will be one. So I can say max equals one, false. So that means there's a problem. So I can now say conditional formatting, highlight cell rules equal to false. And that cell will turn red. And then if there aren't any duplicates, I'll just make it green. Easy. Okay, that's the simple approach. You can just put that at the top of your table and it works beautifully. Then you can take it up a notch and be a bit fancier if you want to. Okay, I'd like to know how many duplicates and then a list of the duplicates. And I'll even show you how you can prevent somebody even putting duplicates in in the first place. Okay, so let's take this to a next level. Let's start with the countif. So we're going to go the countif, this column, this column again. Okay. You get a spill warning because my formula is about to crash into that. But what I want to do is actually, and if I move this across, I will actually move this across to make it easier to see. So I'll put it over here. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to filter this table based on this result, not equaling one. So whenever it finds a duplicate, it'll list it. If you don't have any duplicates, you get a calc. So what you do with the filter function on here is you put a zero on the end. Okay, so there we go. Or I can change that to, maybe I'll change it to uh, okay, right? Because there's no duplicates. But then as soon as I have a duplicate, I get B and B. Okay, and if I have another duplicate, let's put F in here, I get B, B, F, F. So then I wrap this inside a unique function. Okay, unique, filter, all these sorts of things are the new dynamic array functions in Office 365. So there's my unique list. Okay, and I can simply copy and paste that formula. And actually, let me just get rid of this little one out of the way. So I can now do a count A for that. So here we go, wrap it in account A. And we'll wrap that in account A. And there's two items, okay? And if I go and put an another F in there, it doesn't add an extra number because we're doing the filter and the unique. But if I put two J's in here, the number will change to three. And you see this little list gets bigger? Now I can wrap this one inside a text join. So the text join function joins elements together using, I'll put a comma, ignore any empties. 
go to the end, little bracket, and there's my three items and there they are listed. So that you can start to get really advanced with this. Okay. Also, if you're ever doing this sort of formula, use Alt Enter to break it apart. So within this formula, I would Alt Enter and tab my unique across. I'd Alt Enter on my filter and tab that across. And then for my closing brackets, Alt Enter. There's my unique closed off. Alt Enter, there's my text join closed off. Okay, so it just makes your formula easier to read. It does freak people out when they look at the formula bar and they realize you have to expand it. But Alt Enter to make, break your formulas apart and use spaces in your formulas. People don't realize you can put spaces to make your formulas a bit easier to read and see where the brackets are. Spaces are a really good idea. Okay, last scenario. Let me just return this to a unique list. Okay, H, I, there we go. We've got one and we got okay. So this, we could probably say, if it's one, say okay. Right, so here we go. How to stop people doing um, duplicate values. Here's the formula. Okay, well, let me just show you here. See that max countif part that we did before? Excellent, right? We're gonna take that formula, highlight this, data, data validation, list, no, not list, sorry, custom, paste that little formula in there. So it's basically saying you're only allowed to enter something if the resulting formula results in a one, or well, as soon as somebody puts in a two, in duplicates, there'll be a two, the max will be two, so this formula will be broken. So here we go, click OK. And if anybody comes in here and tries to enter a duplicate E or a duplicate G, it doesn't work. Why? Because I forgot my dollar signs. Okay, remember your dollar signs. So here we go, we'll go back in. Data validation, dollar signs. So click in there, F4 to put a dollar sign. Click there, F4. F4 and F4. If you don't do that, it doesn't work. So there we go. And now if I put an E, it won't let me put a duplicate in. If I put a G, it won't let me. Excellent. The only issue with data validation is you can just simply paste over the top of it. So if I could go over here and I have got a G and I paste over there and that really needs fixing in Excel. But I hope you find that useful, spotting the duplicates, flagging them, even blocking them. Let me know what you think. Subscribe to the Access Analytic channel when the big subscribe button comes up. Leave me a comment and we will catch you later.